All right, simplifying fraction exponents. The numerator and the denominator as an exponent represent the radical. The 4 goes inside, but this 3 represents the power that goes within the radical, and this 2 is the index. Now, we usually don't write indexes of 2, so you don't have to write it in. Over here, this represents 125 a power of 1 inside with an index of 3 on the outside. And so what you're going to do is simplify these radicals before you add the two equations together. Now most people will start breaking this down into a power of 2 times 2. You're not allowed to break anything down if it has a power attached to it. You have to represent the radical as actually in its expanded form. 4 times 4 times 4. What happens is then you do have a pair of 4's and since you have a pair of 4's, you can pull that pair out and leave that 4 inside. So these turn into this. Well, you know what the square root of 4 is. That's 2, which leaves you with 8. Well, now let's break this down. You got 5 times 25, and 5 times 5, 5, 5, 5. Again, we now have this radical, index of 3, 5 times 5 times 5. Well, there are three fives. That's exactly how many you need to pull it out. So you say, there you go, the answer is 5, which gives you a grand total of 13. And that's how you answer a problem like this.